Hey guys, got a little fucking surprise for you here, man. Sitting here with Tony Romo, owner of Tattoo Society Magazine, a little bit of a legend in the business. Not a lot of people can party as hard as this guy, <laughs> and he's here with us today. And we're gonna talk a little bit about tattooing and artists, exposure, marketing, stuff like that. So let's talk tattoo. So Tony, how long has Tattoo Society been around now? I think it's gonna be 15 years now. Wow. Yeah, 15 years. That's, That's a, a good lot. long time, man. That's a long. <laughs> I think I've and, known um, you just about as long, really. I do. Probably. We yeah. do. We do, man. So back in the day, homes. hell yeah, man. Always Old good time. <laughs> Don't get to see you enough. But yeah, it's been it's been 15 years, and uh, and it's going stronger, you know. Yeah. And I like that. I, I mean, I, I know you got some big news uh, this winter. You just got launched in uh, Walmart. It, Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. does that do for the subscription base or, or, or number of units out? Well, it will be it, it will uh, it, it will uh, increase the numbers and 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 more people would get to get the magazine because that's that's what I get the most. Hey, Tony, where do I get the magazine? Right. It was uh, Barnes and Nobles or my my website in but now it's Walmart and that's everywhere. Yeah, you can't miss you know? it. I mean, you drop most people probably drive by three of them to go to, go to work. Yeah. So. But you know, um, I don't know if I'm going out, but what happened is these freaking guys, they buy all the magazines and, and they, <laughs> no chances. You know, like, Tony, I didn't get the magazine. Well, now you got to get it from uh, Amazon. That's another subject, man. This freaking Amazon is yeah. selling my magazine for more than what I sell it. <laughs> well, I, I remember back in the day, like, you know, if I knew I was going to have a client in a magazine or whatever, I would go in and I'd just clear out the shelf. You know, I'd buy every episode, you know, every issue I could get my hands on. That's what ha that's what yeah. they're doing. <laughs> yeah. And that's a good thing. I mean, it's great yeah. for sales, but it, it, it limits other people's exposure exactly. to the art. Exactly. It's so. good for me, yeah. but it's not for that one person who wanted it buy one. Yeah. <laughs> now, have you noticed, uh, you know, increased uh, publish publication rates since yes. you've done this? I it mean, is. It dramatic is. or? It is, uh, you know, like I hear, like, it's just, oh, man, it's, it's a, uh, it would be like an hour for me to tell you, but um, I was with the, one of the biggest distributors in America, and I see how they going out of business, like, like Playboy, like mm -hmm. uh, Maxim, and, and, and Mechanical Popular, is that, is that? Popular Mechanics. Yeah, yeah. Pff, I said it wrong. Wow. But anyway, Big and Tatsu Society is still there, and we're in the same same distributors, and uh, I guess you know it's, it's tattoos, man. I'm still there. I'm still here. Do you have a, a theory, or do you, you, you have an idea of why do you think that is the case? I mean, is it just because it's? I mean, that, well, number one, Tattoo Society, without a doubt, people is the classiest, best printed nicest tattoo magazine ever. I mean, uh, there was a couple of decent ones before that when Tony got on the scene. Oh, yeah. Uh, everything's first class, first rate, so that probably has something to do with the success of the magazine, but yes. you're talking about big names dying, Yeah. and you're still doing well, man. Congratulations. Thanks, man. I, I, uh, I think that's the, that's the number one question. I, one of the reasons is that, uh, first of all, I'm a tattoo artist myself. I'm an artist. Uh, Definitely and uh, and and it's it's hard uh, uh, for the, just any tattoo artist that's not that good to get in my magazine. For you to be in my magazine, you have to be top. Right. Unlike other magazines that they just want to fill up pages, and it's not like that, man. I, I when I first started, I remember working in another magazine, and I used to tell this guy. Let's change the quality. Let's put only the good artists. Nope, he didn't. So I decided to do my own, and that's what happened. It's only the best of the best. And it's not like I'm trying to diss other people, but get up on your ass and oh. be good so that you could be in my magazine, you know? Everybody should be trying to do the best work they yes. can. I mean, that's just too many people slack ass on a regular basis. Yeah. So now, out of the people that you know, the broad array of people that read your magazine, 
what would you guess the, the, the artist percentages versus the collector percentage? Do you have an idea of that? I, I think it's, it's the same. I, I think it will be 50-50 because artists also read my magazine and I, and right. I see collectors. Like right now at this convention, it's, it's, uh, I, I get people like, oh man, you know, I don't get the magazine here. And like, then I get artists telling me the same thing. Oh my God, I missed this issue. So it's both. It's right. It's well, great. that's a good, good balance feeling. then too. Yeah, though. it you're is. Not, it you're is. not just you know all your eggs aren't in you know in one yeah. basket. So you know you got you got some yes. diversity there. Yeah. Plus you get curious people, and right. they also buy the magazine. Yeah. You know, like they just want to see it. Like they they probably don't have tattoos, but they love they the morbid part of uh, you know like they want right. to see the tattoos. Well, what I noticed, I mean, now, now, obviously, you put some really classy-looking ladies on the cover of the magazine, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, and that, that obviously works, but when you break into your magazines, it's really about the tattoos. It's it not just, you, it know, it's you, know, not. you know, boobs and ass. It no. is, it's quality artists, killer tattoos. Yes. You, know, you might tease them a little bit with the cover shot to yeah, get them in, the but, but then they got quality after that. My... Uh... You know, my philosophy was to put the ladies because I respect that too. They collectors, right. and and some of them they artists. Like you know, I have uh, Megan Massacred, I have uh, uh, Savina Fox. They're all tattoo artists. I had uh, uh, Liz Liz Cook. She's also a good artist. Yeah. So, but others they just collectors. But you gotta give credit to these people. You know, they 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 beautiful and they go and. Boom. I'm regularly amazed at like, I mean, it's like, it makes sense because women make up 51% of our population to start with. But on top of that, you know, like more and more women coming into the business now and they're kicking a lot of dudes' asses without uh, a doubt. No, they are. You know, they I mean, are. It's, it's... They are. And uh, uh, especially uh, in uh, Philadelphia, uh, to my knowledge, that was just uh, statistically speaking, females are more tattoo than men so that tells you that they're just crazy you know plus in parts that it would probably hurt that's that's <laughs> i i go to philadelphia and i see women like damn with tattoos on their neck and i'm like fuck man yeah. wow <laughs> i mean you're a tattooer so you know women sit way better than men anyways uh, yeah they you do know? i they mean do. it just it just I used to be able to sit for five or six hours for a tattoo, <laughs> and the older I get, the shorter that time yeah. gets. Like right now, I'm probably down to three or four hours, and I want to tap out. I'm done. Yeah. And I don't want to do it again for months. You know, I just, <laughs> it, it it gets worse, man, over time. Yeah, it does. It does. I don't know what it, I don't know. I, I wish I was old, uh, but I, I, my, the uh, pain to me, <laughs> uh, my tolerance is not good, man. Yeah. So, what kind of advice would you give tattooers that maybe want to get into your magazine, get some better exposure? Give, give, I mean, what, what's the number one mistake you see people making? Money, man. All these idiots that they go in in the business for money, that's not the right way to do right. it. If you, I can't, I hate that, man. I, 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 um, I wish they, um, they go back into, into that time, uh, us, man, when it, they, they love the art, yeah. you know? Um, and I, I, that's why I, give yourself a goal and be good, and then only only then you will be in my magazine, you know, no question about it. I mean, you're right on that. Like nowadays, tattooing is so popular, people do see the whole rock star, money, yeah, whatever, all that. Like back when I started tattooing, did it because I loved it. I knew I was going to make money to feed myself, but there was no. You weren't gonna. Yeah. Strike it rich. You weren't gonna become famous. That's not why we do what we do. Yeah. A lot of people just don't. It get was that. a little society. That's where my name comes from. Yeah. Like I remember, like there was an, it was only a little few of us, in New York. So it was a tattoo society, and I'm like, boom. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome, you know? man. I mean, I I think of it like a big family. Yeah, it is. One dysfunctional family, but, <laughs> but we are. We're a big family, man. The best yeah. community I've ever belonged to in all my life, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, I quite often feel closer to my tattoo family than I do some people I'm blood related to. Exactly, You yeah. know, it's just, uh, we have such a common bond. Right, right. You know, and, and then just, just desire, passion. 
Yeah. And I, I wish, you see, like, I like, I like what you said. I wish, I, I, if only everybody would think like you, then it would be more close, you know? It, it would be uh, uh, like, the, like uh, the, the, the shows that you see on TV, like the chefs that, uh, or the makeup, that they all help each other. But then the tattoo shows that we got, the tattoos, they're all fighting each other. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Uh, comp competition is great as long as it's friendly competition. Right. You know, when you, when you, when you start getting, like, you know, cutthroat and hating on others, that makes us all look bad. It takes us it all does. back a step it or does. two. You know, I agree with it you does. on that. All one. that, all that uh, uh, struggles that we did so that this beautiful art would be acceptable. Now these youngsters, they killing it again. Yeah. And we going back because they see it on TV like everybody's hating each other and they think that's cool. Oh, right. fuck and you, it's not cool, man. No, man, like I, I, and you're like me, man. Uh, we know thousands and thousands of people, but your circle's small, man. The, it the, is. The, 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 people, the people you would let crash in your room or or that you want to travel with and you want to spend time with yeah you know it, it you yeah, know it, who's who yeah 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 it's it's that's the family circle we're gonna we're gonna be nice to everybody we're gonna be cordial right. with everybody or whatever but you know we're not gonna necessarily go and <laughs> hang with those jackasses yeah, on that side yeah. of the bar leader tonight you know we'll do our yeah. own thing oh how well, i like to say you know who's who <laughs> that's a true story man true yeah. story cool man so over the years okay you know you've obviously been doing this a while what do you think the best changes are as far as like you know like marketing publication you know advertising stuff like this what is where do you think things went right and where do you think things could be done better again um I think it went wrong when people think they could make money out of the business. You know, like uh, nowadays, any bum, like, oh man, I have nothing to do. I, I have no goals, so let me just buy a machine and do tattoos, and I've seen it. And he works either or. Either he becomes freaking good or he's just a bum, but right. he's making money. Because let me tell you, man, even, even one fucker that do some stupid things and in in uh in uh in uh what is it in alphabet city in new york he's still making money right that's that's the bad part about it the good part about it is that is it has become incredible big you got i i've seen doctors lawyers you know with tattoos so yeah. that's the, that's the good part about it that it's it's already it's 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 there it's out yeah i well, mean we're educating people too, man. It's a I, whole yes. different world than it was 20, 25 years ago, 30 right. years ago. Yeah. I mean, and, and you've been a big part of that too, is by helping get good information out there to yes. people. Yes. And that, that I, I think we're somewhere in the next uh, couple of years where the tattoo industry itself, some people hate that word, but it is, it, it's approaching like, you know, it's multi-billion dollars a year now. It is, man. I mean, and it was nothing like that back in the day uh, i heard that uh uh, uh the sh what is that cooking business and tattoos uh it's the gr the best uh, the most growing yeah you know and i'm like wow that's crazy like in the 80s and the 90s i never thought this shit would happen you know and i'm like wow you know well, we were happy to pay our damn rent you know <laughs> yeah. i mean if you think about it really yeah. You know, some weeks we didn't get to eat very well, and other weeks we, we live, yeah. you know, we live good. But uh, yeah, that's how it was. It was feast or famine back in the day. Yeah. But now I everything's know. popular. More people get involved, which is fantastic. It takes some of the mystique out of it, though. You it know does. What I mean, it was like it was nice when I was tattooed and nobody else was. Now I everybody's know, tattooed, know, yeah, yeah. and it's like there's 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It takes away some of that individuality. Yeah. But it's cool to know we have a common bond with that many more people too, though. It's right. like it's it's, yes. it's it's a love hate thing. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, for it me, is, anyways. Yeah, no, me too. I remember like when I had my tattoos, like I was the freak on <laughs> my block, and I loved that. You know, oh man, that guy, he's bad, he's bad. But then '90s, uh, 2000 came, and everybody got tattoos. So I'm not the 
creek anymore. Yeah, no, no we're... <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all good, you know, everybody's got that right, you know. Like I always said, um, every day there's a new 18 years old and he's dying to get a tattoo, you know, and let him have it. But just, re okay, this is what it is. To me, um, I don't care if you're a scratcher or whatever, you know, it's just, you want to uh, tattoo, go ahead, grab a, grab a freaking tattoo machine and start working your ass off, but just respect the elders or learn about them. And then yeah. only then you would love the art, you know, mm -hmm. at least that's the way I think. No, and you're right, man. It, it kills me because a lot of the old timers that took me in and gave me a lot of information pretty much gave me the knowledge to do what I do now. Yes. You know, like uh, they're slowly slipping away. Like regularly, man, and it's kind of, kind of sad lately because it's been happening a lot more. But now it's kind of our job, more so yours, because you do have a publication, is to yes. to tell these stories, man, to 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 I keep do. that history alive a little bit on I a do. regular basis. You know, I, I I do, and one of my questions that when I interview. Uh, um, any artist, even it, even if it, from Europe, from China, because they got their own uh, legends, you know. Yeah. So that's always one of my questions. Like, wh wh what do you think about the elders, you know? And and I like what they say, you know. Some of them they just don't know, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um, uh, if you had a, 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 if you studied, how did you get into it? And I love it when they say, well, I I apprentice under this guy and how important is that you know yeah it's i mean i'm 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 a tad bit of a hypocrite on that because i started in a state where it was illegal i didn't get yeah that exact option same but, man, here like, brother same here <laughs> but it's something that that's the one thing i think i am missing in my career that i wish i would have had an opportunity because you know i just it, it i almost feel like don't get me wrong. I've earned what I have without a doubt, you know, of course. but That's the one thing that I in my history that I think I was I wish was a little bit different than it played out But then again, it never would have I wouldn't be where I'm at if it mm. didn't play out the way it did so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're all here We're all here. We took a million different paths to get here But this is where we're at, you know, cool, it's, cool. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, where do you see? The magazine going in the future what what anything any new ideas or any yeah you know what what's your foresight for for just printed magazines to start with well maybe? see the here's the thing now uh, um i hear people like um uh, telling me that with the instagram uh facebook or whatever social shit is going on uh, the magazine is it's uh, it's gonna go down, but it's not that you have those loyals You have those old-school that is a okay. It's a big difference of you going to Instagram and see a photo of Whatever art is It's a difference because then you it, when you buy a magazine you have it in your hand and you see if this guy is not lying to you because there's a lot of photoshops here but my magazine, there's no way there's going to be Photoshop there. It's, right. uh, and that's the, that's the difference. So I think that it's still going strong. And, 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 um, and I'm still going to be there doing the same thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I, I don't know how much, how more to push it because he's doing it itself. Well, I see you becoming more successful as some of these other magazines that may not, you know, yeah concentrate or care on the quality like you do whatever they're gonna dwindle and fall and I already see some you know that yeah. happening on a regular basis so that frees up I think more for you you right. know I mean that 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 runs your future yeah and you know because yeah. you keep you, it classy you got to remember I love my title though and not my title it's what the title that uh, most of the uh, uh, big names give me it is the most respected magazine in the world yeah I, I like so. that. I like that title. Absolutely, man. Yeah. You know, like the others can try. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> well, many years, man. Many, many, many I love years. You, bro. Congratulations right. on everything you've done. Thanks, man. And I want to see it go on for a whole lot longer, bro. All right, man. All right. We're going to get some beers. And Woo. you guys all have a great night. 
like, share, and subscribe. Gotta smile and fucking be pleasant. That's so hard sometimes. <laughs> All right.